Okay, um, so I'd like to share with you um, five uh, tests that we did uh, with the Amwand and the Pendant um, that I uh, coordinated. There's a group here in Vancouver, a great team uh, of uh, BAs who has uh, taken upon itself to um, test uh, the uh, technology that we're working with uh, just to get more and more comfortable with the uh, effects and the extent of the effects of what we're working with. So um, if this is not considered scientific, but we have been as careful as we can be um, because you know this is for our own um, uh, comfort, understanding, and knowledge. And so we have contacted uh, different practitioners uh, around the Vancouver area and also over in Victoria who have uh, very sophisticated instruments uh, that are used um, often in um, alternative uh, health practices. And we have um, tested the wand. So I'm going to start with the very first one we did, which was um, done with a, an instrument called a scalar. A scalar measures uh, scalar waves and scalar energy. It's a very um, sensitive instrument. It measures in um, megahertz. Uh, and uh, so we uh, tested the wand, uh, the, the beam coming out of the wand, and it was amazing because um, before I go into the actual readings, I like to explain that there is a demarcation in that system that says that anything that measures uh, ab above 200 megahertz is considered healthy, strong, with uh, uh, enough, enough vital energy to, to support life. And anything that measures below 200 megahertz is weak, it's, it's not healthy. And uh, amazingly, the, uh, the ones themselves, two of them that we measure, were over 1,200 megahertz. So this is the beam coming out of the wand. And wow. then, um, <laughs> yes, and even more amazing than that was the effect that the wand had on water, on food, and on our own energy field. So um, we first measured tap water from the Vancouver area. And we were shocked to see that it came out at 2.1 megahertz. So the baseline reading was 2.1. That's uh, just uh, very close to death, energetically speaking. Uh, after wanding the water for approximately two minutes with a couple of wands, the tap water came at 350 megahertz. So that means it absorbed the um, MI fusion technology enormously. That's over, well over 100 times more vital energy after only two minutes of application. And then we repeated the test with a grape that first came at 2.8 megahertz, and after wanding it came at 222.7, so again, close to 100 times more. Um, a cashew nut, a very similar reading, 2.3 at first, uh, 222.3 uh, after two minutes of wanding. And then our energy fields, um, a couple of us that were there had our energy fields measured, and they fortunately came at around 200, to uh, just above 200 to begin with, but after three minutes of uh, wanding with a couple of wands, our, our vital force doubled. So by then, <laughs> the practitioner who was seeing this technology for the very first time was very intrigued. She had never seen anything like that. She had tested many other technologies, and they were all beneficial. Um, she had tested, I believe, a, a laser uh, wand, etc. And she had seen increases of vital force of about 10 times, but never 100 times. So um, we uh, worked on her. She had some nerve damage on her arm in hand, and uh, her first reading came at only 2.6 because her arm was really very weak. And after wanding her for three minutes, um, she came at 360. So yeah, that was our very first uh, test that we did. And of course, you know, we were surprised and very excited. And this was um, back in, uh, in February, at the beginning of February. 
Now, since then, we've done another four official tests um, that I presided, and there a couple other BAs have done additional ones that they are now reporting back to us. So um, the next one that we did no. was was, also was this one was this one videotaped, Silvana? Uh, no, the very first one was not videotaped, um, okay. but the mm, the other ones were. And so what we're doing right now is we are um, just uh, ed editing uh, the footage that we have, just making short um, uh, videos of it, and this is all going to be posted in the One the World uh, website. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, so the next one um, was a blood, uh, live blood analysis test. And uh, what we did um, is uh, enlist a volunteer, somebody who had not been exposed to the energy. Uh, we took him into a clinic that does um, this sort of testing. And again, the practitioner didn't have any experience with the technology. She didn't know what it was about. So that was, you know, in a sense, part of the, of the test as well, because uh, this was not somebody who was already familiar with it or in Omega or anything like that. And so um, she used a very powerful microscope to uh, look at a blood sample that she took from the volunteer. Right in front of us, there were a group of um, uh, three of us, uh, plus a, uh, a cameraman present. And, um, and so all of us were able to see on the big screen that uh, this volunteer's blood, um, well, it could, uh, it was not um, perfect. It was definitely not healthy. His um, red blood cells were clumped together, <clears throat> and that is an indication of lack of vitality, lack, lack of oxygen, 